So if it's the 4th of July or really any patriotic USA themed holiday cookout you're having, you might have some fun with a trio of barbecue sauces done up in red, white, and blue. So uh, you can find a, a red sauce a lot of places and everybody has their favorite. I like uh, my almost award-winning Worcestershire or what's this here? Uh, barbecue sauce. I got a video for it. Uh, I'll link to it below. It's also at barbecuetricks.com. And uh, there isn't a video recipe for the white or the blue sauce. So I thought I would try and make a couple of the best ones I found. First, the white sauce. I found one off Amazing Ribs website. Big Bob Gibson is a big name in barbecue, especially when it comes to this white. It's an Alabama white barbecue tradition. Uses mayonnaise at its core, and Bob Gibson, I guess, launched this back in the 1920s. You're going to want to apply this only at the end of the grilling process. It breaks down kind of with heat, they say, and it's tangier and thinner than you might think. You need uh, three-fourths cup of mayonnaise, third cup apple cider vinegar, quarter cup lemon juice, quarter cup apple juice. I actually used a recipe that called for corn syrup here, but quarter cup apple juice, tablespoon powdered garlic, tablespoon prepared horseradish, black pepper, little mustard powder, teaspoon of salt, and some cayenne pepper. You put all of it in a large blender. I did it in a bowl first so you could see. And then blend it for about a minute till it's thoroughly mixed up and it's smooth as can be. Remember, it's almost like a mop. You can use it to slather on at the very end of the cooking process. And you may even want to try it. A lot of people try it and like it as a dip. That's what I did here. Again, it's mainly for chicken, or you could use it as a base for coleslaw, and it's popular for a potato salad base to mix in as well. Next, the blue sauce. It's kind of unlike anything you've tried before. I used, in my version, a dried blueberry, like raisin blueberries, because I really couldn't find any fresh at the time. And it's true, it's not really a smurfy blue, and that's good probably. Uh, it's really a subtle blue color, but you can really taste the blueberry flavor. You need about two cups of water, some ketchup, dried blueberries, mince them up, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, sriracha, liquid smoke, Dijon mustard, and some salt and pepper here. Basically, you add the water and the blueberries and vinegar to a saucepan and you simmer it for five to 10 minutes to let it steep. Then after that, you add the remaining ingredients, simmer it on low heat until it really thickens up and that could take a while. So you let it really cook down and simmer for a while. Season it to taste with salt and pepper, then strain out most of the blueberry pulp using a spoon to force it through a strainer here. Discard most of the pulp. You may want to keep a little bit to add a little bit of character to the sauce. And if you're looking for a fresh blueberry version, check out uh, blueberrycouncil.org. They do it with a couple of cups of fresh or frozen blueberries. Let me know how it works out in the comments. Go ahead and team this blue sauce up with our almost award-winning red sauce, traditional barbecue sauce, and this unique Alabama white sauce. You got a red, white, and blue patriotic barbecue. And you want more tips, tricks, other fun stuff? Head over. Happy 4th to barbecuetricks.com.